but he's got to be feeling a little bit now. He gives it off on the first play, and it's Jalen Cropper, the freshman, for a gain of 12. Third and one. It's Reyna himself up the Coliseum sideline as he dreamed about for years, and he's got a first down on a gain of 13. But let's not forget, Jeff Tedford has coached a lot of quarterbacks. He's taught a lot of guys how to play through difficult situations and the like. Reyna is just the latest. You, you could even call Tedford sort of a quarterback whisperer. Against Georgia State, Memphis beat Ole Miss as well earlier on. Third and forever for Reyna. And he's going to dance. Reyna on the move. And he's turned away inside the 30 by Isaac Taylor Stewart. Now what do you do? Well, he gave the team a chance for a short fourth down. Question is whether you go for it now or try a field goal. But yeah, he's starting to get comfortable and is up to the speed of the game. It's just football now. Der Silva, the transfer from the College of San Mateo. From 45 for Silva. And it does slide through, so Fresno State is on the board. Got one of his disciples in Graham Harrell. Third and 16 for JT Daniels. With the crossing route, which we'll see a lot of. Bonds is turned aside by Evan Williams, the nickel, and it's fourth down. That's student section of the year. You don't have to spell well to win. Go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell to see if your team made this week's rankings and to see how your school competes. Uh, where is the, where is the G go? Is there a G? They're missing. <laughs> I mean, is he in the bathroom? Like, you can't leave no. if you're part of the fight on. <laughs> As a quarterback, Texas Tech, he was with Mike Leach in 2014. And so there's this sheer confidence from the outside. After the loss they took upon his departure, as Reyna keeps it himself, Rice is out in front, his tight end, and it's a first down run for Reyna, the local kid. A little something else to get him settled, get him going and using his legs and trying to open things up for him. A little misdirection. Now this is the sort of thing that Fresno State needs. Thing off of him pregame. Being from around here is Reyna on third down and ten. Launches deep down the middle and caught touchdown. Darion Grimm reels it in for the Fresno State score. Yeah, Jason, we talked about him having to make a throw down the field. Where USC is weak defensively is on the back end. His dad knows it. His dad is pumped and he's like, yep, yeah, he's settled down. We're right back in this thing. 50 family members. He bought 50 additional tickets for this game. And there you have Grimm right down the middle. Juggle off the snap. That's picked off. Justin Rice steps in front. It was shaky from the start and Fresno State rips it. Well, and Daniels never saw Rice. Rice didn't really have to move. They're overplaying the short passes, and that's the discussion over there with Clay Helton. But Rice was positioned right there in front of what would be the slant. And Daniels just doesn't see him, throws it right to him. He's had so many open holes underneath, he just assumed that Rice would move out of the way. Rice stood there and saw Pittman coming in and never got out of the way. He stood there and was right to him. That is a huge turnover on a drive in which SC was rolling right back down the field. Oh yeah, figuring it out. All happens week one, all those mistakes. Pressure coming. Rice is there. He's got a pick and he's got a major sack. He was down, no fumble, but Fresno State topples Troy with 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. And Rice is down. Yeah, it's a blitz. They bring Rice up the middle along with the free safety free. And USC doesn't pick it up. Now, was he down before that ball came out? 
He doesn't have control of that, but that right leg looks like it's down already before looked, it comes out. Looked like knee first and then leg. Yeah. yeah, knees down and ball is out. That's a good call on the field by this Pac-12 officiating crew. See how bang bang of a play that is too. You've lost your starter. After review, it was determined that the quarterback lost control of the football prior to his knee going down. The ball is recovered by Fresno State. It'll be first wow. down Fresno State at the 23-yard line. It wow. compounds for USC. Daniels being helped off. Clear recovery for Fresno State. Second down. That's Cropper in motion again. Cropper for a first down. Finally tracked down by Rector. Now give some credit to Clancy Pendergast, the defensive coordinator. He came in with the game plan to make sure that Rivers and Rice didn't beat him. And so you see Fresno State going to other guys to make things happen. Fake the throw, hand it off instead. And Cam Sutton is down to the 11 yard line. Creative play calling from Tedford and his band and it's first down. Taking advantage of the USC speed and their ability to pursue. Letting them over pursue and then come back the other way. That hurt tonight for USC. Stanford ended up getting the win despite that. Will USC do the same? Slovis was a little bit late with the ball maybe. It came loose out of the hands of Vaughns. And let's see, is it Fresno State football? They let it play out. It is Bulldog football. But will it survive review? If it does, it's the third USC turnover. Slovis like, what do I have to do? Now he's upright, he tucked it, that is a catch. And Mosby. Oh, you know, look, at the thing is, he is on top of a Fresno State player, so he doesn't touch the ground, even though he was not moving forward. His progress had been stopped, but he was on top of a Fresno State player. That's a really good call on the field. This officiating crew on bang bang plays tonight has been right on top of it, and it looks like that will survive replay. Agreed. Now again, video review comes on every play, but it's their decision to stop it or not, and they're not going to stop this. No need to look. It was pretty clear. Reyna to Rivers, cutting it back inside. Rivers finds his seam across the 40. He needs more touches. How well, do you do that? Handoff, well, passing play? If, if you can't run him between the tackles as you normally do, you got to get him screened. You got to get him involved in the passing game. But he is too good, too valuable not to get somewhere between 18 and 22 touches a game. First out for USC, it's Slovis. Freshman uncorks again. Deep ball. He's feeling confidence, and this one is ripped off. Jaron Bryant, the senior out of the Fort Worth Metroplex, intercepts it. The difference here, he threw into double coverage. On the other throw to Vaughn's, he found the single coverage and threw the ball. And Helton's telling him, don't rush it. Find the single covered guy. No reason for you to throw into double coverage. That was greedy. Yes. Q, you're absolutely right. Feeling himself. Let the kid have a little fun, guys. Yeah, I think Helton is saying, not that kind of fun. Well, you just, Q, you just credited Graham Harrell for giving him the chance. That one, maybe you want him to check it down, right? Absolutely. Or just, just look somewhere else. You don't look into double coverage. Jorge Reyna, again under pressure. This one down the middle for Grimm, and it is a bullseye into USC territory. And at the end of the third quarter, Fresno State trumpets its presence again on a 52-yard strike. The football after a big strike at the end of the third quarter, 52 yards. Reyna finds his way across the 30, and that is a nifty bit of footwork. 
his grandfather said, under pressure, he's fine. He would handle his nerves and everything today without any problem. He had a lot of pressure right there. He didn't panic, made little subtle moves and got down the field and now Fresno State is in business again. Well, earlier this half, and now in a three score game, they will kick with Silva and he strikes it on through. So it's 31-16, 12-23 to go. Hokett's been in on this drive. Reyna breaks it down, unloads. Oh, a beautiful comeback for Chris Coleman to make the grab and a first down. Fresno State, a much needed 27. What a clutch catch by Coleman. You know, Reyna stayed alive, but that ball was a little bit offline. But Coleman comes up with it, and all of a sudden, Fresno State has the chance to pull within one score. Got to snap it. They do. Reyna has his man inside the 10. Zane Pope looks like he's right at the marker. He's got quite the paint job on his jersey, and he's got a huge grab for Fresno State. The 105 of his home, by the way, with a huge crowd here for him. Reyna over the middle. He's got a touchdown. Chris Coleman, who had a big catch on the drive, and now it's a nine-point game for USC. Coleman is down. The sophomore out of Bakersfield injured at the goal line. Heck of a throw. This has a lot of mustard on it, and what a catch by Coleman. I mean, that thing was thrown up complete dart, and he managed to get in there, and, you know, Dad's got to be happy about that. The season-ending game last year that dropped USC to 5-7. and seven. Malapai is met. Michael Walker was in there. It's fourth down coming up. Big play by Fresno State. They anticipated that USC would keep it on the ground. They came with the run blitz inside, got their linebackers involved, and stopped Malapai before he got started. Offense checks off. This is risky. This is very risky. They do snap it. He mishandles the snap, and Walker explodes the play. Wow. Fresno State's taking over. Wow. You know, the book says you kick the ball and you ask your defense to win the game for you. Now you're asking your defense to win the game with half a field and with momentum now with Fresno State. Unreal. Yeah, this is, I, I'm, I'm stunned by that call. I, I thought the timeout was to burn the clock and to punt the ball. Now you've given Fresno State a real chance in real life. Two in the backfield, including Rivers. Rice with a chip. Reyna gets away. Down the field. It is caught. Are you kidding me? Chris Coleman again. Are you kidding me? That catch was better than the one he made earlier. High points it, takes it away from Greg Johnson. Wow. 36 yards on fourth and 10 for Coleman. 